EV station wagons with release dates. It's possible that the market for station wagons, let alone electric station wagons or electric estate cars, just doesn't exist in the United States. This is because beginning in the 1980s, consumers had access to minivans and SUVs, which offered increased cargo capacity and higher acceleration. The wagon may be a niche body design in the United States, but it remains popular in European and British markets. The following manufacturers have expressed interest in including an electrically powered station wagon in their upcoming product offerings for the international market. Let's take a look at them. Number one, the BMW i5 Touring is anticipated to be compatible with 205 kilowatts DC fast charging, allowing the battery to be recharged from 10 to 80% in about 30 minutes. The forthcoming electric wagon has been rendered with a BMW i-inspired blue accent color and a blocked-off kidney grill. At the 2023 BMW Group Annual Conference, the automaker confirmed that the all-electric 5 Series station wagon would debut in the spring of the following year. Similar to the BMW i4, the BMW i5 Touring will ride on the Claire, which is the rear-wheel-driven cluster architecture platform. Reportedly, it will be offered in two different X-Drive trim levels. The X-Drive 40, with 335 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, and the M60 X-Drive, with 590 horsepower and 586 pound-feet of torque. The i5 Touring would come standard with a battery pack that has a capacity of 81.2 kilowatts per hour, net which should allow for a WLTP range of about 350 miles in the X-Drive 40 version and a little over 300 miles in the M60 X-Drive version. By reducing the car's engine and speed and turning off convenience features, the max range function might enhance the vehicle's range by as much as 25%. Some of the most notable features of the BMW i5 Touring include a new BMW iDrive system with BMW Operating System 8.5, a totally vegan interior, a highway assistant that includes active lane change with world first eye activation, and a plug and charge. The release date is set for European Spring 2024, with an estimated price range of $75,000 to $80,000. Number 2. There aren't many electric station wagons on the market, but the MG5 EV is one of them. According to a story from Autocar from November 28, 2022, Guy Pigunakis, the commercial director for MG UK, has stated that all MG UK models, aside from the MG4 EV, will be replaced by the end of 2024. It was said that the next generation of MG electric vehicles, such as the MG5 EV, would use the same modular, scalable platform as the MG4 EV. The next generation MG5 EV will take styling cues from the MG4, as reported by Auto Express, a British journal, on May 22, 2023. It will take some time for the next generation MG5 EV to reach dealers, because the redesigned model was just released in the UK in November 2022. In 2024, which is the release date, the present electric estate may be one of the last models produced by the brand. Additionally, it is estimated to cost less than $45,000. Number 3. There is good news for fans of station wagons. Volkswagen's electric Aero B station wagon has been approved for production. The Volkswagen Passat Alltrack and Passat sedan will progressively give way to the Aero B shooting brake and VW ID7 as EV adoption picks up in various areas. There will be a rear-wheel drive, RWD model, an all-wheel drive, AWD model, and a high-performance GTX model. After ending manufacture of the gas-powered Passat in December 2021, local operations in the United States intend to phase down sales of the electric sedan. The VW ID Aero Idea is a low-drag vehicle that measures almost 5 meters and is almost 16 feet in length. In order to claim a WLTP range of up to 620 kilometers, 385 miles, Volkswagen equipped the electric car concept with a 77 kilowatts per hour lithium ion battery pack. The ID Aero is a close to production concept, according to the automaker, so its production iteration and wagon spin off should share identical technical specs. The ID7 estate will be released by Volkswagen in Europe in the spring of 2024 at an estimated price of $40,000 and up. Number 4. 
Audi debuted the A6 e-tron concept at the 2021 Shanghai Auto Show, and in March 2022, the Avant Station wagon model debuted as a concept. The closed single-frame grille, elegant digital matrix LED headlights, and backlit Audi emblem up front are all similar to the Sportback and showcase Audi's skill in lighting technology. Digital old parts in the backlights allow for unlimited design flexibility. The PPE platform, on which the Audi A6 Avant e-tron is based, is a major departure from the MEB platform, which it replaces. The A6 Avant e-tron's 100 kilowatts per hour battery is amazing, and it can be fully charged in just 10 minutes using the PPE platform, which enables architecture up to 800 volts. This results in an increased range of 186 miles. The battery can be charged from 5% to 80% in just 25 minutes. It has an estimated 435 mile range. Acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour will occur in under 7 seconds. With a release date of 2024, it is estimated to cost $75,000 and above. Number 5. As Europe's first all-electric station wagon, the Peugeot E308 SW sets a new standard. It has a single motor that generates 260 newton meters of torque and 115 kilowatts per hour of power. The Peugeot E308 SW was clearly not designed for quick acceleration or high speeds. The efficiency of the E308 SW, however, is where it truly shines and is what will ultimately win over its target audience. A 51 kilowatt per hour lithium ion NMC battery pack is what powers the electrical drive. The WLTP estimated range is over 400 kilometers at 400 volts of operation. It has a lower WLTP energy consumption rate of 12.7 kilowatts per hour, 100 kilometers, and hence costs less to operate than a Volkswagen ID3. DC rapid charging from 20% to 80% state of charge takes less than 25 minutes, and an 11 kilowatts onboard three-phase charger is included. Midway through 2023, Peugeot expects to introduce the Allure and GT versions of their electric station wagon throughout Europe at an estimated cost of $66,990. Number 6. Like its parent model, the ET5 shooting brake is 4,790 mm long and 1,960 mm wide. Naturally, its 2,888 mm wheelbase is unchanged as well. The NEO ET5 shooting brake, rumored to be dubbed the NEO ET5 Orion, is based on the NEO ET5 sedan, but features an extended roof that slopes to a curving spoiler. The roof has gentler slopes than the ET5, and the windows appear larger as a result. Designed to sell in countries like Sweden and Germany, where station wagons are still common, it will have a much roomier interior than the ET5. A pair of motors, each producing 150 kilowatts, power the ET5 shooting brake, so the combined output is probably going to be around 360 kilowatts, or 700 newton meters, in terms of power and torque. Upon its debut in Europe, NEO may have the same 75 kilowatts per hour and 100 kilowatts per hour battery pack options seen in the rest of the world. We anticipate that the shooting brake's range will be comparable to the sedans which is 456 kilometers or 590 kilometers on the WLTP cycle. NEO has scheduled the release of the ET5 shooting brake for June 15, 2023. Deliveries are expected to start on June 30, 2023, with China being the launch market. There could be a two-month delay in the delivery of the NEO ET5 shooting brake to Norway. It is priced at approximately $46,900. Several major automakers are working on electric station wagons that combine utility, good appearance, and environmental friendliness. When these cars hit the roads, they will change our conception of what a practical family automobile may be. So, prepare to enter a new era of eco-friendly and roomy travel by embracing the exhilarating evolution of station wagons. We're sure you have one or two to say. Go ahead and share in the comments section. We'll be waiting. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to stay in the loop on all things EV, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy driving.